Hi everyone! So for this video, I am going to show you the steps on how to grow crystals using alum or tawas in Filipino. Now before we start, let us first identify the things that we are going to need for this experiment. 1. Alum 2. Food coloring 3. Yarn 4. Pipe cleaner or fuzzy wire 5. Scissors 6. Cardboard 7. Jar 8. Boiling water be reminded that we should wear proper PPE before conducting our experiment. Because even if we could consider this experiment arts and crafts, we're still doing science. Of course, masks so that we won't be able to inhale alum and gloves for our hands protection. Step 1. Put 150 gram of alum in a jar filled with 250 ml hot water. Step 2. Steer to dissolve the alum creating a solution. Step 3. Roll pipe cleaner or fuzzy wire. Step 4. Add food coloring. Take note to steer your solution. Step 5. Cut the cardboard. Step 6 is to cut a length from the yarn. Step 7. Thread the pipe cleaner together with the yarn and the cardboard. Measure the length of the yarn so that your pipe cleaner will not touch the base of your jar. Step 8. Leave it into the solution for 12 hours. If ever you're gonna use a different material instead of a cupboard, that covers your container and holds the pipe cleaner and the yarn. Example, you're gonna use a pen or a pencil just like this one. I'm using a pen on this one to hold the pipe cleaner and the yarn. Make sure that you put a lid on top of it. Make sure that you cover it so that no dust will get inside your solution. Okay, so we'll let this sit for 12 hours and we'll see the change later on. After 12 hours, this is how our crystal will look like. Step 9. After 12 hours, remove the crystal from the jar and reheat the solution. Step 10. Add more alum into the reheated solution and stir until the alum dissolves. Let's take one more look at our crystals. We can now put back the crystals inside a jar and leave it soak for another 12 hours. After another 12 hours, this is how our crystals will look like. As you can observe, our crystals became larger and thicker. But how did this happen? As the temperature of a liquid increases, its solubility increases as well. And in our experiment, the temperature of water is higher than the room temperature. That is why, the amount of alum that was dissolved is much greater than under normal circumstances. Now, as we leave our solution for 12 hours, the temperature drops together with its maximum solubility, causing the release of molecules of alum that forms a solid precipitate, which accumulate and creates crystal formation. Fun fact! Alum molecules rather attach to an existing alum molecule, or crystal, rather than creating a new one. That is why our crystal becomes larger.